The Shiva Purana is one of 18 Purana genre of Sanskrit texts in Hinduism, and part of the Shaivism literature corpus. It primarily centers around the Hindu god Shiva and goddess Parvati, but references and reveres all gods. The Shiva Purana asserts that it once consisted of 100,000 verses set out in 12 Samhitas books, however, the Purana adds that it was abridged by sage Vyasa before being taught to Romaharshana. The surviving manuscripts exist in many different versions and content, with one major version with seven books traced to South India, another with six books, while the third version traced to the medieval Bengal region of the Indian subcontinent with no books but two large sections called Purva Khanda previous section and Atara Khanda later section. The two versions that include books, title some of the books same and others differently. The Shiva Purana, like other Puranas in Hindu literature, was likely a living text, which was routinely edited, recast and revised over a long period of time. The oldest manuscript of surviving texts was likely composed, estimates Klaus Klostermeyer, around 10th to 11th century CE. Some chapters of currently surviving Shiva Purana manuscripts were likely composed after the 14th century. The Shiva Purana contains chapters with Shiva centered cosmology, mythology, relationship between gods, ethics, yoga, tirtha pilgrimage sites, bhakti, rivers, and geography, and other topics. The text is an important source of historic information on different types and theology behind Shaivism in early 2nd millennium CE. The oldest surviving chapters of the Shiva Purana have significant Advaita Vedanta philosophy, which is mixed in with theistic elements of bhakti. In the 19th and 20th century, the Vayu Purana was sometimes titled as Shiva Purana, and sometimes proposed as a part of the complete Shiva Purana. <laughs> date The date and authors of Shiva Purana are unknown. No authentic data is available. Scholars such as Klostermeyer as well as Hazra estimate that the oldest chapters in the surviving manuscript were likely composed around the 10th to 11th centuries CE, which has not stood the test of carbon dating technology hence on that part we must rely on the text itself which tells when it was composed. Certain books and chapters in currently surviving Shiva Purana manuscripts were likely composed later, some after the 14th century. The Shiva Purana, like other Puranas in Hindu literature, were routinely edited, recast and revised over the centuries. Hazra states that the Bombay manuscript published in the 19th century is rarer, and likely the older than other versions published from eastern and southern India. <laughs> <laughs> Different manuscripts Several recensions of this text exist. The Bombay 1884 manuscript recension published by the Vangavasi Press, Calcutta in 1896 consists of five Samhitas sections. The second manuscript of Shiva Purana published in 1906, reprinted in 1965, by the Pandita Pustakalaya, Kashi consists of seven Samhitas. According to a passage found in the first chapters of Vidaisvara Samhita and Vyavya Samhita of these recensions the original Shiva Purana comprised twelve Samhitas, which included five lost Samhitas, Vainayaka Samhita, Madhur Samhita or Madhur Purana Samhita, Rudrikadasa Samhita, Sahasrakotarudra Samhita and Dharma Samhita or Dharma Purana Samhita. The number of verses in these sections were as follows Vidyashvara Samhita 10,000 Rudra Samhita 8,000 Vainayaka Samhita 8000 Uma Samhita 8000 Matri Samhita 8000 Rudraikadasha Samhita 13000 Kailasa Samhita 6000 Shatarudra Samhita 3000 Sahasrakotarudra Samhita 11000 Kotarudra Samhita 9000 Vyavya Samhita 4000 Dharma Samhita 12,000 Several other Samhitas are also ascribed to the Shiva Purana. These are the Asana Samhita, the Isvara Samhita, the Surya Samhita, the Tirthaksetramahatmya Samhita, and the Manavi Samhita. Haraprasad Shastri mentioned in the notices of Sanskrit MSSIV, pp. 220-3, Mose, 298-299 about another manuscript of the Shiva Purana, which is divided into two khandas parts, the Purvakanda and the Uttarakanda. The Purvakanda consists 3,270 slokas in 51 chapters written in Nagari script and the Uttarakanda has 45 chapters written in Oriya script. It was preserved in Mahamprakash Brahmachari Matha in Puri. The Purvakanda of this manuscript is same as the Sanatkumara Samhita of the Vangavasi Press edition. 
Topic. Contents The Vidaisvara Samhita, also called Vinisa Samhita or Vidyasara Samhita, appears in both editions, is free of mythology found in some other Samhitas, and is dedicated to describing the greatness and the bhakti of Shiva, particularly through the icon of Linga. This section is also notable for mentioning both Shaiva Agamas and Tantric texts, but frequently quoting from the Vedas and asserting that the text is the essence of the Vedic teaching and the Vedanta. The chapters of this shared Samhita in different versions of the Shiva Purana includes a description of India's geography and rivers from North and South India so often and evenly that Hazra states it is difficult to gauge if this part was composed in North or South India. The Jnana Samhita in one manuscript shares content with Rudra Samhita of the other manuscript, presents cosmology and mythology, and is notable for its discussion of Saguna and Nirguna Shiva. The text discusses goddesses and gods, dedicates parts of chapters praising Vishnu and Brahma as well as those related to avatars such as Krishna. It asserts that one must begin with karma yajna, thereon step by step with tapo yajna, then self-study, then regular meditation, ultimately to jnana yajna and yoga to achieve seujya intimate union with Shiva within. The text emphasizes bhakti and yoga, rather than bookish learning of the Vedas. The Shiva Purana dedicates chapters to Shaiva Advaita philosophy, like Linga Purana and other Shaivism related Puranas, advocating it as a system for salvation. The text also presents the Brahman as Satsatananda theme, with masculine and feminine Shiva Shakti as a unity, and perception of plurality discrimination as a form of nescience. Love-driven devotionalism bhakti, asserts the text, leads to knowledge, and such love combined with knowledge leads to attracting saintly people and guru, and with them one attains liberation, states Shiva Purana. These ideas, states Klaus Klostermeyer, are similar to those found in Devi-related Puranas and Shakti literature. References Bibliography <references> 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 Dalal, Rosen 2014, Hinduism, An Alphabetical Guide, Penguin, ISBN 978-81847527799 K. P. Geetz, et al., 1992, Epic and Puranic Bibliography up to 1985 Anode and with Indexes, Part 1, A, R, Part 2, S, Z, Indexes, Otto Harrisovitz Verlag, ISBN 978-3-447-03028-1 Klostermeyer, Klaus 2007. A Survey of Hinduism, 3rd edition. State University of New York Press. ISBN 978-0791470824. J. L. Shastri 1950A. Shiva Purana, Part 1. Mudalal Banarsidas. J. L. Shastri 1950B. Shiva Purana, Part 2. Mudalal Banarsidas. J. L. Shastri 1950C. Shiva Purana, Part 3. Mudalal Banarsidas. J. L. Shastri 1950D. Shiva Purana, Part 4. Mudalal Banarsidas. Kramrish, Stella 1976, The Hindu Temple, Volume 1 and 2, Mudalal Banarsidas, ISBN 81-208-0223-3 Pinchman, Tracy 2001, Seeking Mahadevi, Constructing the Identities of the Hindu Great Goddess, State University of New York Press, ISBN 978-0791450086 Roche, Ludo 1986, The Puranas, Otto Harrisovitz Verlag, ISBN 978 3447025225 Topic External links The Shiva Purana English translation by J. L. Shastri, 1970 includes glossary Surya and Nayarta on the Shiva Temple of Prambanan, Roy E. Yordan, 1992, pages 59-66, Brill, Puranas, Shiva texts in Southeast Asia.